Kids, this is Cascade, and welcome to this new little prologue I'm going to play. It's called Tavern Master, and please hit like and subscribe. So let me give you a little bio of this game. It's actually been out for a few years. It is uh, came out in 2021, the end of 2021. It says this, Tavern Master is about managing your medieval tavern. You start with a very small room, a couple of benches and tables, and build your way up to a huge successful tavern with a kitchen, rooms for guests, group of royal staff, and much more. So hopefully I've got the uh, sound set correctly. I want to try to make as many videos as I can because right now is the next fest on Steam and there's just a load and load of demos out there and prologues and stuff like that. So this one's been out for a while. It's got very good ratings. So I'm going to start a new game here and see how it goes. Okay, welcome to your tavern. You will be in charge of managing and growing your business. Hopefully the sound is not too loud. It's like it's 12 p.m. Take a look around and move the camera by dragging while scrolling. Okay, great job. You can rotate the camera by holding your route. Mop, route. Let me say that again. You can rotate your camera by holding your right mouse button and moving the mouse around. Okay, yeah, there we go. Next, I think I can do it this way too. Yeah, that's just like, yeah, I can do it that way. Okay, uh, the tavern doesn't look like a tavern at all. One wall is missing. There are no doors and no windows. Let's fix that. Okay, hit the building icon. And so now what we're gonna do is put up a wall. So we're gonna put it along this area right here. So we'll drag it along here. There we go. Now we got to put in a door. I guess we're going to put it. We're going to put it right here where the finger's pointing. Now we're going to put in. What is this? Let's add a window as well, and we'll put it where the finger's pointing. Oh, this looks pretty easy. I like that. Uh, let's buy some tables and benches. Let's do it. Okay, let me go back here. Hit the table and benches icon here, and uh, we're going to buy a simple table. I'm going to put it right there where the finger's pointing. Boom. Just like that. So far I like this. Pretty simple. Seats. We're going to get a bench seat. And we'll put one right here. And we'll put one right... Nope. Right here. To see exactly how well our tavern is lit, uh, you can click on this uh, checkbox to show lights. So let's click on the checkbox here. And let's click on lights. And we're going to get a candle. How much does that thing cost? A hundred? Yeah, a hundred. And we're going to put it right, yeah, right there. Looks like a good place. Great job. Now that we have enough seats for our guests, the next step would be to buy beer to serve. Yes, we've got to buy beer. And we'll click on this little table here, the bar area open up our menu and we're going to get a beer barrel 150 liters worth two hundred dollars we've got 580 left so we'll put it right here uh, serve beer we'll first have to fill the barrel click the uh, fill bar to continue okay and max refill okay we're going to do that Close this menu off. What is next? Uh, great job. Now we have a place for people to sit on. We have drinks to serve. Final thing missing is the higher staff. Yes, we've got $230. We need to sell some beer. Let's get some staff here. And we're going to click on this little people icon right here. <clears throat> Bartenders. Yeah, we need at least one. Uh, let's see who we're going to hire. They're all level one. Uh, let's just see. Uh, speed, salary. Speed, salary is all the same. So, gains experience two times faster. Attracts plus seven more customers every day. I like that one right there. And I like his name. Uh, I'm going to hire this dude right here, Mr. Talbot. You are hired. And now I need to get one waitress. 
and man, they'll get paid five coins a day. That's that's pretty good. Okay, it can carry eight drinks at a time. Uh, attracts plus seven more customers every day. Ooh, well, I don't think that'll put me at 14 extra customers. Uh, gets a uh, uh, one coin tip for every drink served. That's pretty good. Can carry eight drinks at the same time. What's the difference between these two? Can carry eight drinks at the same time. Uh, I think I'm going to go for the uh, eight drinks at a time. Helga or Matilda? I'm going with a Matilda. And do we need to hire a chef? I guess not yet. We prepared everything needed for the guests to start coming in. Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unclog new stuff from the... Let's see if I can move the uh, camera. Yes, I can. For the tavern. Keep, click the uh, research button. Okay, so what are we doing now? Before we unpause the time, let's see how you can unlock new stuff. Okay, research. Upgrades are research by serving different types of guests. And you can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to see if I can do this and come back to this. I'm going to turn the music down. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. And um, click out of that. How do I click out of that? Right there. Upgrades are research by serving different types of guests. You can see the cost of research on the left side of it. For kitchen, we need to serve 25 common. Uh, okay, so we got a kitchen right here. We can research that. We've got, um, I guess, 15 guests. One plus guests a day. We've got one waitress. Uh, we've got special events. Uh, I'm not sure what this means. Upgrades of research by serving the different types of guests. You can see the cost of the research. I guess this is the cost right here. Is that right? Um, on the left side of it, for kitchen, we need to serve 25 common guests. Now that's the number of guests right there. So are we going to start the research? We better hit next. Okay, we're going to hit the research tree. Our only option right now is to research the kitchen. Yep, that's our only option. We can't get to these yet. So we are going to research this. And now I think we'll open up these three slots right here. Lemonade. This is a beer house, not a lemonade stand. But uh, we can probably get some money for selling that. Uh, plus one guest a day. Um, plus one waitress. That would probably help out. Number of guests per day tells you how many people will come into your tavern on average on average every day buy decorations and upgrade your tavern to increase that number number of guests per day tells you how many people okay guests per day 36.1 um, okay we're all set and your tavern can be open click the uh, play button to resume the game and wait for customers to come in so it is 12 p.m. It's still not late at night, and looks like we, maybe that's my waitress right there, Matilda. There's my bartender, I forgot his name already. Uh, what is his name? Uh, his name is Talbot, and uh, I can fire him, but he hasn't even started, and you look at this icon here, he is happy, 100%. Let's see what Matilda looks like. She is very happy too. I've got two happy people, but let's see how this goes. We will unpause it now, and we will hit play. And my final tip is that you can watch out if there's enough space to sit. If all the seats are taken, buy more tables and benches. Good luck. Okay, so we are into the Tavern Master. Uh, kind of take a look around here. It's pretty cool looking game, I think. It's kind of a relaxing relaxing game, resource management. So far we need uh, nothing. Do my customers just automatically get served? Uh, cleaning, room service, drinks, food. I think she's all set to do what she needs to do. I don't know what this is. So here she goes. She's serving her first 
uh, beer. We've got a little bit of money coming in now, plus four. I wonder if we can speed this up. We can speed this up. I'm going to let it go for a little bit here. Uh, I think I can add a kitchen later on. Maybe I can knock out a wall and expand my tavern out here by the creek. It's really a really, really, really nice location. Got the nice entryway here. We can expand to the south. We can expand to the west out to the creek. Maybe we can have a little sitting area out here. I'm not sure. We'd have to uh, see what we can research. We got some customers coming in. Oh, we can take up that. Let's see if it's going to get too crowded. We got people coming in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another bench. And let's see, I'm going to get a table. And I'm going to get just a basic table right here. Um, yeah, that's only worth 70 coins. I got 200. And we're going to put it right, I think right here would be a good place for it. Um, let's see if I can twist it around. Uh, let's see, how do I do that? No, no, no. Oh, X and Z. Let's see, if I put X. Okay, maybe right there. And, yeah, maybe we'll do this. I'm just not sure. Uh, probably right there there. Uh, let's put one there and let's get some seats. I want to get this little bench here. It's the cheapest one and we're going to flip that around and we'll put it right here and we'll put another one right here and I think we are done with that. So no, I want to, okay, I want to go again. I want to get rid of the shop area. How, how, how do I do that? Um, oh man, how do I get rid of my shop area? I don't want this anymore, so... Uh, let's see, hit this. I'll go back. Alright, there we go. That's what I needed to do. And now we got customers coming in. I'm just going to watch it. Let's, uh, oh, we got some research going on right here. You can see that. Uh, let's see. Uh, she's still pretty happy. He's pumping out the beer, my bartender. Um, we might have to hire another waitress, but we only have 84 coins. So we're going to have to just sell a lot of beer. This is the Tavern Master, by the way. So let's, uh, we got people coming in. Uh, she's serving one beer at a time. Uh, I can't remember what her traits are. I think she gets uh, eight beers she can serve at a time. So that's really good. She's got two there. What is that drink right there? I have no idea what that is. I don't even know what we can make. Uh, let's check the research real quick, see what we got. Um, we've got, oh, can we do kitchen now? Uh, I'm just not sure. If I click on that. Oh yeah, here's the little research tree here. At the uh, uh, end of it is unlimited bars, unlimited kitchens. Can I? No, I think this green bar has to go all the way across before I can research the uh, kitchen. So right now I think I'm just uh, hanging back. Making sure we get uh, a lot of people served. We've got 118 coins, which is very good. It is nighttime. This is when people come in. And it's been a steady flow of people, which has been really, really nice. It's just this top-down view right here. Wish you could kind of get a little bit closer. I think I can zoom in like this. Yeah, I can use the uh, scroll wheel, the mouse wheel to... Uh, to look in a uh, little more detailed. So let me, uh, let's see, what kind of angle do I want? Um, yeah, that looks pretty good right there. Got some people mingling out front. Some people coming and going. We're up to 142. It is 9 p.m. at night. We are selling some beer. Here at the Tavern Master. Okay, let's just check this out. Okay, we can build different things, but we are not going to do that right now. Uh, these are chairs, and uh, we can hire people right here. 
So, yeah, we are doing good. Uh-oh. Uh, I think they're still both still very happy, but I don't know what this bar means. I think they're gaining experience. Let's just kind of watch this for a while. And it's now 10 p.m. at night. This is the prime beer selling time. It looks like her level is going to go up to level 2 here real shortly. Let's just keep it here and see what happens. And hurry, hurry, hurry. I can speed it up, but I don't want to do that. I just kind of want to watch this go. Really kind of a real casual, laid-back game, if you like those kind of games. And it's supposed to be from the medieval time period. The research is about halfway done now. And Matilda, I don't know what that means. Let me uh, click on that. And uh, I can level her up here, I'm assuming. And boom, just like that, she is at level 2. He is getting ready to level up, so we'll wait for the... Uh, a little exclamation point to come up it might come up on him over here I can just check on him a little bit later we're almost ready to get a kitchen research I don't know if we have enough uh, money for anything in the kitchen we will find out okay daily summary uh, we made a lot of purchases a lot of refills but uh, we got $122 today and I think everybody is going home now uh, so, uh, customer serve 23, which is pretty good. I can serve 37. Um, let's see. I don't know what this orange or yellow or purple means. Um, let's see. Total seats, 12. Uh, average occupancy, 100%. Um, serve drinks, 23.2 seconds. Average action duration. Uh, total income, uh, minus 818. That's because I spent everything but we do have some money in the bank um, so now we're in the uh, the next day let's go ahead and click on my dude here and see if we can level him up almost ready to level up Talbot but not quite so we will start the next day and it is 7 a.m. and we've got a lady coming in for some early morning beer some L and when I say L uh, usually when it's on the captions it'll have the letter L but it's ale A L E and here we go you are gonna get your beer early in the morning we should make more money today because we're starting earlier five hours earlier and I'm glad to see that these medieval people like to drink beer early in the morning I think we'll go through this day and just kind of see what happens it's kind of just wait and see we're getting ready to research just click on my dude here oh he still is not at level two yet our hurt level goes up a lot faster they're both at a hundred oh he's at 95 percent he i think he's feeling a little bit overwhelmed he's getting ready to go to level two here in just a little bit our research is almost there for a kitchen that'll be good when we get a kitchen and oh yes he is ready he is ready for level two. So let's uh, click on Talbot, level him up. I hope that makes him feel better. Yes, he's at 100% now. Uh, so they are attracting customers. What is her trait? Eight drinks at a time. So yeah, carry those drinks, serve those people. We're at 190 coins right now. We should be able to get the kitchen research done. We are doing good. Day number two. A fun game pretty easy game very very casual so far I, I didn't see anything dealing with um, you know like how hard it's gonna be like easy uh, normal or difficult it all seems pretty simple let me click on this bar it lights up oh I can uh, I can yeah I get the beer level here I've got the water level here I think that's what we're selling is some I don't know if we're selling water uh, the lemonade barrel is not open. Uh, refill all for 29 coins. But it looks like we don't have to do that right now. So, didn't know that. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, research is just about there. 220 coins. Uh, every table is now occupied. I should probably get some more. And no one's leaving. Everybody is just staying there and drinking away. And little Matilda is just working her heart out. Uh, she can take eight drinks at a time. 
and this is a fun little game, little medieval music going on. Okay, kitchen instructions. Congratulations on unlocking the kitchen. Here is $800 bonus, so you have enough money to buy it. Step one, go to kitchen shop. Step two, buy a kitchen counter, uh, plate, shelf, and crate. Kitchen counter, uh, plate, shelf, and crate. Uh, step three, hire a chef. And step four, wait for customers to order food. Okay, I might have to put another table in. So let's see, we're going to the uh, research. And we're going to click on, oh, what are we going to research next? Uh, plus one guest a day, plus one. I think another research. Uh, we'll get a, another waitress, not another research. We'll get another waitress and let's uh, click on, can we click on the kitchen? No. Let's click on this right here. Uh, we want to order a chef. So what kind of chef do we want? Prepare two soups at the same time. Mood decreases 20% slower uh, every day. Yeah, uh, I think I'm going to hire Bert. I want Bert, my cook, to be in a good mood. Do not like grumpy cooks. So we're going to hire Bert. This chef cannot be hired because there isn't a kitchen counter to go to. Okay, well, uh, we need to get a kitchen counter. Let's go to the menu here. And let's uh, not go to the menu here. Uh, right here. Uh, kitchen counter, uh, wall texture, floor texture, no. Let's go right here. Um, kitchen, kitchen, right here. We need uh, one of these. This is my counter. And where will I put my counter? I'm going to put it right here for now. Man, I almost kind of need another wall, but let's just... Uh, Let's put it right here for now, I think. Let me uh, kind of get a better look here. Okay, let's go. Oh, that just switches that. Let me... Uh... Okay. Let's see, get a good angle here where I'm gonna put this. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna have to just put it right here. Man, I'm running out of room. Uh, I can't put it back here. It's just no room to to maneuver. I think I'll put it right. I'll put it right here. And now, what do I want to get? I want to get uh, this guy right here, the plate shelf. And let's see, where can we put the plate shelf? How about right back here? Can I put it right here? I'm gonna try to put it right here. Warning: You can't buy a new prop because some props are overlapping uh, okay so I couldn't put it there let me get a better view here how about right can I do it here no it's got the little red there so I'm gonna try to flip this around how about right here okay good and now we need to get one of these crates and where are we gonna put the crate I'd like to put it like right here would be good I don't know if that's the front or not. I think that might be the front. Uh, no, it's overlapping there. Can't put it there. Let's see. No, can I put it back here? Uh, no, it is overlapping. Can I put it here? Let me see if I can drop it here. Uh, no, it will not. Anytime there's red, that is no good. Let's see if I can put it over here in the corner. I can, I think. Uh, I think I need to turn this around like that. Uh, yeah, let's see. Would that be a good place for it? It's kind of out of the way. Um, let's see. Yeah, I'm going to put it right over here, I think. There it is. And, oh, I wanted to move that. I don't know how to do that. So I'm going to click on this right here. And so what we want to do, we want to hire a cook. We want to hire a cook. So let's get this uh, Bert guy here. We'll hire him. And now we have a cook. And we can start making stuff. Let's check out the menu here. Uh, oh gosh, what are we going to make? We got all these things on the menu, which is really good. Uh, this is on the menu. That's on the menu. That's on the menu. That. We got a fruit bowl, cream rolls, apple pie, bread, and cherry cake. We got a lot of uh, kind of pastry type stuff. 
So that's what we got right now. Bowl of chicken will be the next thing to open up. Let's um, let's check on our guys, see how they're doing. Um, got some more people coming in at seven o'clock at night. We got seven hundred. So $100. I don't see any food. I see a lot of beer everywhere. I might want to hire another waitress. Let's let's check on the... Uh, oh, uh, Talbot's really happy right now. Matilda is happy. So we're going we're gonna to leave it at that. So far, Mr. Chef, I don't think he's sold any... I don't think he's sold any uh, products yet. Okay, it's 9 o'clock. We should have people streaming in here. Man, they come early in the day. There's some water. I don't know if we get any uh, water uh, coinage for selling water. And Matilda is working very, very hard. It's 9 o'clock. We're going to get all the way. Oh, there's four beers at a time. Oh, it looks like my cook, Bert, is grabbing something. And it looks like he's going to make a delivery here. He's carrying it in his left hand like it's a loaf of bread. Oh, he's going over there to the uh, the storage crate. Uh, I'm sorry, Bert. I had to put it at that end. I just wanted to make as much room as I could. I wonder if I can move these tables around a little bit. I might try to do that. This is a fun game. It looks like Bert's making some kind of a, a pie. Oh, who is this? Oh, and we have our waitress delivering our first food item right before we close the day. A really, really fun game. Let's make it to midnight here. We've got the tavern master going strong. Got a lot of coinage right now. Matilda, my waitress, Bert, my cook, and Talbot, the bartender. How come the bartenders and cooks are always kind of have a uh, pot belly on them? And here's my daily summary. Look at that. We made some good, good money today uh, in the green, and I am very happy. So, this is Cascade signing out for the Tavern Master. Please hit like and subscribe. And until next time, I hope your day is a great one.